Hello friends, this is Vani from Viva Sew and Style. In today's video, I am sharing with you some brand new butterick patterns and a couple burna patterns that I recently bought from my local Joann's. I am a self-taught toy sewist and I love to sew with big four patterns. So without further ado, let's begin. So the very first pattern I am starting with today is Butterick 6994 and recently Stacy Robbins did a sew along on it and I plan to follow her sew along when I want to sew it. This pattern is rated average. These are the line drawings. And let me show you on the, you know, the instruction sheet. So it doesn't look like there are that many pattern pieces. And it looks like an A-line flared dress with a collar and a zipper. So... I'm not sure if the dress is open fully or, you know, it's not. And it has a lot of layer. When I saw it on Stacy, I can tell that there is a lot of layer on it. And the recommended fabrics are chambray, cotton blends, rayon, crepe and terry cloth. So I think if you want to make like a swim suit cover up you can sew it in a terry cloth so yeah it's a nice dress for summer something with a twist rather than your regular a-line dress so it has a collar and a zipper to give it that extra lift okay so the next pattern is butterick 7002 And I got sold on this green top. I have a thing for green color. <laughs> Even though this blue is very, very pretty also. And the skirt and the top both look nice. The pattern is rated easy. But I am not sure. Because the sleeves do look a little bit tricky to me. Or maybe it's just a little pleating. And then you need to choose a fabric that would hold its shape. So they are recommending cotton satin, light denim, etc. I would also think that to me this looks like a crepe back satin. And this pattern also comes with a skirt and pants. So you get a lot of bang for your buck and it's rated easy. Let me show you the line drawings. So look, doesn't this sleeve look a little cumbersome? But I am really liking the skirt too in the, these pockets. It looks almost like a cargo style skirt. And the pants look nice too, the cropped ones. But they have a zipper. They are not elastic waistband. They have a zipper. So, nice pattern. I don't believe I saw any sew-alongs yet. So, if I make it, I will share with you all. Definitely. Okay, guys. The next pattern I am sharing is Butterick 6985. It is a vintage pattern. It's a 1970s pattern. It's called a wrap and go dress. And I liked all the versions 
this plaid one the solid the print and to me this finishing with the bias binding looks nice although i heard some people on youtube you know like they didn't appreciate the bias binding um finishing but i like it i think it's giving an extra edge and a flair and it's it looks like a very modern dress and if this has been around since 1970s then it's like a classic right so this is how the dress looks from behind it's rated easy here are the pattern pieces just three and so yeah i think i i mean i really like this dress i think it would be easy to sew and also one thing i noticed is that they suggest a lot of variety of fabrics with a mix of knit and wovens such as shali gingham jersey lightweight double knits polished cotton i'm not sure what is that polyester double knits seer sucker and sura if anybody knows what is sura do comment and let me know so i think it's an interesting pattern and i really liked it if i make it i'll definitely share okay so the next pattern is butterick 6982 and in this you get this top and the pants uh i not very sure what's the difference between this top and this one but anyway i liked the top because one it has raglan sleeves and you know these kind of patterns look like a new take on a classic shirt or tunic that you can sew in a shirting fabric a pure white fabric and it will look very crisp and nice the pants are nice too but they seem very low rise to me so yeah so and also they have a yoke in the back so i don't know they might be a little more tricky to increase the rise because of the yoke i might have to watch some more youtube videos to you know learn that but other than that it looks like a very nice blouse that can be sewn and used for office etc so yeah good pattern and a nice fresh take on a tunic okay friends so those were all the butterick patterns i had today now i will share with you two uh burda patterns so the very first one from burda is burda 5803 and it's a crossover style top i mean dress when various lengths i believe and some variation in the sleeve and these look like very nice dresses for summer perfect to stitch in a seer sucker gingham shali type fabrics but one thing i noticed is it's very similar to mccall's 8035 and the reason i got borda is because to me the skirts look more full as compared to mccall and also the neckline looks way 
smaller on Barda and that's my personal preference so I thought I will give this a try I have also sewn my calls pattern and it came out beautiful I sewed it in view B it's on my channel in a shorts video but I would have liked a little more flare in the skirt so I am hoping that in the burda pattern there is more flare so once again burda 5803 it's rated as easy okay friends so the last pattern I am sharing with you is burda 6628 it is this beautiful A-line dress and also has these you know tunics or vests and I bought this pattern thinking that I need a foundation A-line dress you know these dresses are very versatile so if you have a perfect pattern then you can make it in a very beautiful fabric and you're good to go you know look at these line drawings so these dresses are in different uh, length variations so i feel that this can be a perfect summer dress and this one if, if somebody makes it in a crepe or a satin and with a nice lace for the top can be appropriate for a wedding this one can make it in a suiting fabric and wear it to work so yeah, I really really liked this I like the simplicity of these dresses because simple dresses are the most versatile and they never go out of style so friends those were all the patterns that I shared with you today I keep posting such videos on my channel so do check back often and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already I post a lot of pattern reviews I saw a lot every week I post at least one or two makes from the big four patterns and some fabric hauls and pattern hauls so I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I hope you all have a great evening. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do like, comment and share my videos. And once again subscribe to my channel. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.